In this video, I'm putting Jell-O up against Kool-Aid. Let's see which one catches a fish first. Now I've marinated hot dogs in both the Jell-O and the Kool-Aid. So that's going to be the bait of choice today. You can try chicken or other meats when you do something like this. I'm using a premium hot dog as well, so it stays on the hook better. Both the Jell-O and the Kool-Aid look the same. Lost some of the jello on the ground. And this stuff is really, really, really messy. I'm going to have stained hands for a couple of days now. The jello is the one closest to the camera, and the Kool Aid is the one furthest away from the camera. Go. No. I'll talk more about this once I catch a catfish. Jello got hit first. Oh, he might be on too. Yep. Kind of expect, expected uh, Jello to catch the first fish. And I'll tell you guys why once I get this guy in, if I get him in. Awesome. <laughs> I actually tried this in a lake, a backwater area, and didn't get a single fish. It's a lot easier to catch catfish in a pond than it is in the wild. <laughs> Channel catfish. Barely hooked. Jello hot dogs work. Nice little channel cat. Farm raised channel cat. You can see the anal fin is round. That's what makes it a channel cat. And the younger ones, like this one, they have all these dots on them. Cool. He is cold too. The water's really cold. This guy's been eating pretty good. He doesn't have a huge stomach, but I guess there's been enough cold out of this pond that they're no longer starving. I guess we'll find out if I catch another one. Other way. Other way. There he goes. All right, let's put a Jello hot dog back on this. And then I'll talk about why I think Jello is better than Kool-Aid. Another Jello hot dog. Let me tell you the ingredients of Kool-Aid first. Citric acid, salt, red 40, calcium phosphate, and then less than 2% of a bunch of other stuff. There's really nothing in this. I mean, it's a dye and salt and a little bit of vitamin C. Now Jell-O has sugar, gelatin, some type of acid, and less than 2% of a bunch of other stuff. 
Gelatin is an actual animal product and it has amino acids in it. One of you posted in a video in the past saying that Jell-O has some of the same amino acids as bluegill. Now I tried to verify that, but I couldn't. What I did find is some of the amino acids in gelatin are the same as some of the amino acids in bluegill. So there is some truth to that. There's also something else about gelatin and jello that makes it better. Take some jello and freeze it. And after a week in the freezer, unthaw it and eat it. It will taste disgusting. And that's basically the same thing for like skipjack. If you freeze skipjack, you are less likely to catch flathead catfish and stripers. I think flatheads and stripers like things that taste good. That's why fresh is always best when it comes to flatheads and stripers. Now blue catfish and channel catfish, they really don't care. They eat just about anything. I had a frozen freezer burned piece of skipjack that caught a 25 pound catfish in the past. Not only did it have freezer burn, I got it from somebody who uh, had it out on concrete like overnight. They gave me their leftover skipjack. I took it home, I froze it. Then I took it out and fished with it. And then I froze it again. And then I took it out and fished with it again and caught a 25 pound blue. Now someday I might try to get some just gelatin and try putting it on frozen skipjack to see if I could get flatheads to bite. Pull the frozen skipjack out of my freezer, go to an area where I catch flatheads all the time and then put gelatin on it and then toss it out there and see if that makes them bite the bait. Now I have caught flatheads on frozen bait before in the past. And that's probably because I vacuum seal all of my skipjacks that I freeze. I catch the skipjack fresh. I try to put it in a salt, brine, water, ice mix to instant freeze them. Then I take them home, vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer as soon as possible. Trying to have the best possible frozen bait. So what do you guys think? Am I right about Jell-O being better than Kool-Aid? This is literally the debate of the century and people will still continue to debate on it even after this video. Or at least people will continue to ask if Kool-Aid is better than Jell-O on their chicken. And to be brutally honest, neither. Unless you like having red dye all over your hands all the time. In fact, it's always better to use what's in the water. Try to catch a crawfish, try to catch a bluegill, skipjack, shad. But I do understand there's some times where you just can't catch anything, so you gotta go to the store. And if you're dealing with pond catfish, hot dogs are just fine. Now let's see if I can actually catch another catfish. I'm sure quite a few have been taken from the pond or have died here, so there's not many left. They only stock this pond once a year, and that's in May, and that's for a children's tournament. So like I said, there's not many left. <laughs> Jello hot dog again. He dropped it. Might be able to tell now which one they like the most. Okay, it's calling for rain in 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reel both of these in and refresh both baits and put fresh bait out there to see if something bites before the rain. I'm also going to play switcheroo. I'm going to put the Kool-Aid on the right side and the Jell-O on the left side just to see if there's a difference. This is one that got bit earlier. So let's see if it has a hot dog on it. Still has the hot dog. I'm going to put a Kool-Aid hot dog on this one. Nice Kool-Aid hot dog.
Well, that could be a problem. <laughs> no hot dog. Maybe this one did get a bite. All right, jello hot dog on this one. Right, let's see if I can get another catfish before it starts raining. Oh, there's a peck on the Kool-Aid. The wind is picked up and the rain is just about on top of me. I don't have too much time left. Jello hot dog. <laughs> Whoa. Pulling the drag. <laughs> Oh, came off. And well, that happens. Sometimes you lose the fish. On that note, I'm about to get rained on, so I'm going to pack everything up and get out of here. That includes all my trash. Please. Don't leave trash at the lake, pond, or river. Now, I do want to hear your guys' thoughts about Jell-O and Kool-Aid. Just leave them in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you would do me a huge, huge favor, if you see anybody asking about Jell-O or Kool-Aid anything, share this video with them so they can learn more about Jell-O and Kool-Aid. It's basically salt versus gelatin, which is better. And as you saw here today, they really wanted the jello hot dogs. Now, if I could only replicate this at an actual lake or river, maybe next time. Thanks again for watching.